Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really well today. We're going to be doing a review of something that I've been trying on and off for the last several weeks. This is an attar from the House of Amouage. This is their saffron attar. The proper name is Saffron Hamra. And this is the discovery set that we got. And it comes with six different attars. And if you don't know what an attar is, it is a perfume oil. It's basically per Per, it's per perfume, pure perfume. This is the size of the little ampule that comes in the sample set. This is probably about eight drops to 12 drops, depending. You can see I've used a little bit of it already. Check out the bottle. It's kind of interesting because it's got a, a dispenser. It's not a dropper, like a squeezy dropper. It's just a sort of triangular shaped thing that the fragrance oil will slowly slide down. The proper way to apply an attar is to basically put a drop on a pulse point or and maybe a second one on another pulse point. You have to kind of go individually because some of these attars are super, super strong and you'll choke yourself out if not everybody else in the room if you're not careful. We're going to put a little drop and I'm not even sure if you can see it. It's just a little bitty. You see that reflection there? That's it. And I'm going to put one on my other wrist. It is very, very rich. So I'm just going to sort of just rub them a little bit and then I'm going to put some on my beard like that. And it's a super rich, very savory kind of smell. It's a Saffron apparently is a very elusive and expensive herb in its purest forms. And this, it, it just, it's a bit animalic. It's definitely going to be too strong for a lot of people. And I've tried this, I've mixed it with the vanilla, the combination, the two of them, it was a little bit too much, <laughs> to be very honest with you. The perfumer behind this Atar is Cecile Zarakian, and she's done a lot of different fragrances throughout the world and di with different perfumers. What Lucky Scent says about this scent is the supreme opulence of saffron coils around a deeply sensual rose scentifolia absolute under leathery fumes of burning cade wood. The luxurious union of a king and queen in the stark redness of the Hamra Mountains. What we think, meaning Lucky scent. Rendered in pure attar oil, you realize why saffron was once the most expensive spice on the planet. Every aspect of its rich, multidimensional, creamy, spicy, savory character takes center stage along with lush, romantic florals and rich, smoky cade oil. The fragrance notes are saffron, rose, centralia, and cade. If you go to the Fragrantica chart, the main accords are warm and spicy, aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, metallic, rose, leather, and tobacco. Now, the base notes that Fragrantica lists are saffron, cade oil, and rose. It starts to fade, but it's super savory and it's really delicious. It's not as sweet as vanilla. It's a lot more earthy and maybe earthy is not the scent, not the word, but it's definitely savory. The vanilla scent is a bit sweeter and I think vanillas tend to be sweeter based on my limited experience. This is more of a savory scent and it's, it's very nice. I would say it's probably more of a winter scent than anything else because it's so heavy. It's a very dense sort of it's not smoky but it's got that sort of thick kind of characteristics the problem with this one of the problems with this is the price for 540 us dollars you can get a little less than 12 mls of this scent it's a lot of money for a little bit of juice now bear in mind two drops two drops that's it and you really don't need any more. And the longevity on this is, you know, I smell it on myself eight to 10 hours after application. It's pretty amazing. And I have not tried it with the Incense Rory fragrance in this line, which is 
pretty, pretty frankincense dense. I really like it a lot. I actually, in fact, bought a jar at a heavily discounted price at the Incense Rory because I liked it so much. But the saffron is really very powerful, very strong, and it can be headache inducing. That is for sure. So you have to be pretty careful in terms of your application. If you buy this or if you get a sample of this, use it sparingly. You can get decants of this in various places for about $35 to $45 for like eight to 10 drops. So it is not cheap. It is super luxurious in terms of price point alone. There are other fragrances out there that in dollars and cents wise may be more expensive, but for the volume of liquid that you get, or actually for the volume of oil that you get, it's it's still a lot because you can find Atars online for $20, $25, $30. Now, are they this high end, high quality? I can't speak to that. I've not tried any of them yet. We're going to work our way towards them. This is really nice. I, I like it a lot. I'm not going to spring for a bottle of it. I have to say, if you have any interest in these these types of fragrances, I would I would spring for one of these samplers. It's 200 bucks. Typically, I've not seen them discounted anywhere. And, you know, they come with the six fragrances. Now, this is from 2022. There is a newer release where they have two new Atars. And then you read a lot of people complaining about the, I don't have the strength of the old ones or the prior ones from out from the house, that sort of thing. I can't speak to that because I didn't really know anything about Atars until a couple of months ago. But what I do know is that the saffron is really very, very delicious tasting or smelling, I should say. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you like the review, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps us in terms of getting more traction on the platform. So we really appreciate the love. In the meantime, please be kind to fellow human beings and their critters. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling awesome, whether it's with saffron or something else. And we will catch you on the next one. Don't forget that we love you. Cheers, everybody.